I don't know, it's getting to the point where I don't think I need a headband for my hair anymore. Headband? No headband. I think I actually like the no headband. love to sew therefore I usually upload sewing related videos if that is something that you're into go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos I think you'll like them too and if you are a returning subscriber hey so guess what I did I know I just shopped for a ton of patterns and I know that I haven't been sewing as much but check this out okay there was another pattern sale at Joann's for Simplicity Patterns. I ended up missing the Macau patterns, but there's not a lot of Macau patterns patterns that catch my eye. I love how up-to-date Simplicity is on a lot of their patterns. I tried looking at the Vogue patterns. I haven't found a Vogue pattern that I actually like or that I'm drawn to. So I don't know if there's any Vogue or Macau's patterns that you guys think I should take a look at that are easy. Let me know. Yeah, I went and bought some more patterns at Joann's with their pattern sale for $1.99. Okay, so that's one. Two, the last time I did the pattern haul, I didn't realize and I didn't make it an effort to get easy patterns for me. So I did go ahead and purchase some more patterns. I really focused on getting easy patterns, but let me start with the harder ones that I want to sew because I actually really love these and I think I will wear these. Um, so I purchased the Mimi G style S8889 and I will be following the sew along with Brittany J. Jones for this top. This top is beautiful. I love it so much. I can see myself wearing it with leggings, with jeans, with, you know, high-waisted jeans, anything high-waisted. I think this top, I think this top will actually really be extremely flattering for me um, so I purchased that one and the next one that I purchased is this one this is another one that I think would flatter me as well I think this one would flatter me more than the long one I think the long one would probably make me it would probably I don't know it just I don't think it'll fit me I don't think it'll look right on me but I do think this one would look a lot better especially because it's high-waisted I love the top I can't wait to sew this one so let's go ahead and move on to the easier patterns that I purchased. So I purchased the Simplicity 8548 and I purchased this one because it said like learn to sew, sew the trends and it has all of these different varieties including pockets. Um, I am excited to sew this one. I can't wait. I think it'll look, I think it's a great one for me to understand and i want to sew this one i want i want to sew view d and i just want to make the the arms a little bit shorter the sleeves a little bit shorter um the next one that i purchased is the simplicity 8376 and i really like this one um i probably will not be sewing any of the hacks i got it because of the t-shirt um i actually do not like anything else but I really like the fit of the t-shirt. It's a simple t-shirt that I want to sew. The next one that I purchased is, this one I'm actually really excited about, is the Simplicity R10180. I'm excited to sew this one. I'm excited to sew this top as well. And maybe the, this one. Yeah, I'm actually really excited for all of these, except for this one. I don't like the ruffle on my sleeves. I say that now, but watch me sew it anyway. Um, and then these are the backs. I really like all of these. I think this is 
um, a really good one that I can practice on and that I can follow along with. So I'm excited for that one. I think that one's going to be really fun. The next one I got is the, the, the last one I got for me. I have other ones, but I got those for my daughter. The next one that I have for myself is the Simplicity 8544. And it's another kind of dress pattern. And I got these because I am trying to figure out what dresses work for me, but because these are easy to follow, you know? And because it's summer, I do want to take advantage and I do want to sew dresses for me. Um, I just think it's going to be awesome. And I like, uh, I like this one. I like this dress. I like this one a lot, the flower one. But we will see and then these last four i actually bought, purchased these for my daughter i think these are going to be super awesome for her the first one that i purchased is this one it's the simplicity r10193 isn't that cute these the little shorts at the top and the top it's just really cute with her big can you guys picture her with her big poofy curly hair and like a little summer outfit like this? I just think it's going to be awesome. I, I think she'll look really cute in that. And then this next one I got, my daughter is a fan of dresses and rompers and all that stuff. So she will probably really love this one. And this is the Simplicity 8395. Super cute. Very nice. And the next one is the Simplicity 88. Nine seven, super cute, super cute dresses for her. And, oh, and then it you can even make the little bag. It comes with the little like bag that you can sew. So I'll probably use some scraps for that. That'll be cool. And then the last one that I got, the last one that I got matches this one. It's the Simplicity Eight Five Six Seven Eight A. And it's almost basically the same like see like like if you see here this is what it is and then this one is mine like they're basically the same see that <clears throat> so that's pretty cool I got like the adult version and the kid version um, and that's it the next thing that I purchased is this I ordered some um, bobbins online through ebay um so i got some metal bobbins because i have plastic ones and they get wonky and wobbly and i don't want to keep buying plastic either i want to buy these that will last me a long time so i'm hoping that i haven't even seen if these fit my machine so i'm hoping that they do i also purchased some elastic at joann's because i'm running out of elastic i have been sewing a lot of things this week i sewed a couple things this week and last week so i'll be excited to show you guys that for my may makes um i've also i also purchased some interfacing i am going to be sewing another shirt for my son a button-up shirt i'm going to be sewing myself a button-up shirt and some pieces some of the patterns that i'm currently working on really need interfacing and i don't want to i don't want to take any shortcuts with it i want to do the interfacing i want to sew it the right way i want to follow the steps so that i can get it right and have them have it all look very nice and professionally made and the next thing that i purchased if you haven't noticed the elephant in the room not really but i purchased a serger so let me go ahead and take you over there okay here it is in all its glory i got the burnett for bernina double 4d fun lock um i did purchase this used So this is it in all its glory. It is a little bit dirty. I have been sewing with it. I sewed my son. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that I sewed my son a t-shirt. I did use it for the current pattern that I was doing, the dress, but I stopped sewing the dress because it was way too difficult. So I have been sewing with it, but um, I'm still learning. I'm still learning, you know, but this is it. And then here's the light. 
I'm really happy to have this. So I know you're probably wondering how much I spent on this because it is used. I bought this off of Craigslist and they did like a tune-up on it. The original price was $160 and I offered $140 and he said yes and I took it and I paid for it and now I have it and it came it wasn't just the machine that came it also came with the original like little bag and it came with it has a little the spool stuff is in there the little plastic cups it also came with four of these so you put the lid on there it came with these net things that I have no idea what they're for it also came with both the screwdrivers it came with both the screwdrivers and it came with needles and I do have to purchase some more needles because I ended up breaking two needles when I was practicing I know it's terrible I know and it also came with these tweezers but I'm going to go ahead and purchase some different kinds of tweezers because th these are kind of hard to grab the um, the thread with it came with an extra blade so that's a pretty big deal there's an extra blade in here and it came with this thing that I have no idea what it's for so I don't know what this is for so if anybody knows what this is for comment down below and let me know but I got it and yeah I'm super happy with it like I said I have sewn my son a shirt and the shirt came out looking beautiful it came out looking professionally sewn I'll, I still don't know everything about this serger I, I did just get it this week um on Tuesday the 20th I'm probably just going to continue to trace a bunch of patterns because there's a lot of things that I want to get sewn I personally think that I have a little bit of fabric but I have enough to make some of these items so I'm excited and I'm excited to show you guys so yeah so that is it that is it for this video I will see you in the next couple days to show you what I've sewn for this month so stay tuned for that video but yeah and with that you guys I hope you're having a great day week and month and don't forget to make it a great year because June is around the corner that means we are halfway through 2019 and yeah it goes by fast so make it a good one bye